Have you ever found yourself lost in daydreams of colorful streets, delicious food, and stunning architecture? Well, prepare to be captivated by the most colorful capital city in the world, Lisbon. Join us on our journey through this vibrant gem and discover why it's a must-visit destination for any travel lover. Lisbon is an enchanting city located in Portugal that boasts a blend of modern and traditional qualities. The city is situated on hills, close to the River Tagus, and has a deep connection with the sea. Lisbon has a rich history, and it was from here that explorers set out to discover new lands in the 15th and 16th centuries. This era of exploration has left an indelible mark on the city's culture and heritage. Lisbon is a vivacious and lively city, famous for its warm and sunny climate. It has several historic landmarks, top-notch museums, and a plethora of exciting activities that can be included in a single or multi-day itinerary. You can take a leisurely walk along the old quarter's narrow streets, stroll along the riverbank promenade, or lose yourself in the delightful parks and gardens. Immerse yourself in Lisbon's relaxed and laid-back way of life, and you'll soon fall under its spellbinding spell. To find inspiration on must-visit spots during your stay, take a look at our compilation of the most popular tourist destinations in Lisbon. Number 9. Castelo de São Jorge An iconic landmark, St. George's Castle is a highly regarded attraction in Lisbon, situated atop a hill near Alfama. Its location offers breathtaking views of the city. The castle is a well-liked destination among tourists, featuring impressive battlements, an interesting museum, and an intriguing archaeological site. It's a great spot for families, with kids sure to enjoy exploring the castle's sturdy walls and towers. This site has been occupied since the Iron Age, and later a castle was built which was defended by the Moors against Christian invaders. However, in 1147, Afonso Henriquez overran the castle and built the Alacova Palace, which became the residence of subsequent monarchs until a new royal residence was built near the river. Visitors mostly come to admire the fantastic views from the Observation Terrace, which offers uninterrupted views of the city, the Tagus River, and the distant Atlantic Ocean. For a unique perspective, visitors can check out the Camera Obscura Periscope in one of the towers, which provides a 360-degree projected view of the city below. Number 8. Mosteiro dos Geronimos Built in honor of Portugal's Age of Discovery, the Geronimos Monastery, located in the charming Belém neighborhood of Lisbon, is an essential stop on any city sightseeing tour. This 16th-century monument is a remarkable landmark of Portugal, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its tremendous historical and cultural significance. Commissioned by King Manuel I in 1501 to celebrate Vasco da Gama's momentous journey to India in 1498, the monastery is a tribute to the wealth of the Age of Discovery and a house of worship. The South Portal and Manueline Cloister are standout features of the Mosteiro dos Jerónimos, while visitors can find Vasco da Gama's tomb inside the Santa Maria Church entrance. Number 7. Oceanario de Lisboa, a modern aquarium. The Lisbon Oceanarium is a top-notch aquarium in Europe and one of the world's largest. It's a popular attraction among families visiting the city. The architecture was done by Peter Chermayev, and it was constructed for the Expo 98 World Exposition, now known as Parque das Nacoes. The Oceanarium is home to a vast collection of fish and marine animals, including various species of birds. The layout is divided into four distinct oceans and landscapes, replicating the habitats of the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Antarctic Oceans. The central tank is enormous and filled with fish of different shapes and sizes, which include elegant rays, bulbous sunfish, and swift sharks, which kids enjoy seeing. The Oceanario de Lisboa is a wonderful place to explore the magical world under the sea. The wraparound plexiglass provides an up-close view of the marine life, but don't forget to check out the smaller aquarium for some unique and extraordinary species. The different ecosystems are delightful to explore, and the Antarctic habitat is especially fun with its playful penguins. The Pacific tank is also a must-see, featuring a pair of spirited sea otters. The Oceanario de Lisboa is not only a popular tourist attraction in Portugal, but also a global advocate for marine environmental awareness. It's a great place to have some serious fun and learn about ocean conservation. Number 6. Torre de Belém, a historic tower. 
The Bellum Tower is one of the most recognizable historical landmarks in Lisbon and is a representation of Portugal's remarkable age of discovery in the 16th century. Initially built as a fortress in the middle of the River Tagus, the tower showcases exquisite manualine architecture featuring intricate maritime designs carved out of stone. It is so significant that it is safeguarded as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The tower has different levels, and the king's chamber on the second floor is the most intriguing interior feature. The Renaissance loggia opens up from the chamber, and above the arches, the royal coat of arms of Manuel I is displayed. If you make your way up the incredibly steep spiral stairs to the terrace of the tower on the top floor, you'll be able to enjoy a beautiful view of the waterfront esplanade and the river. Number 5. Elevator de Santa Justa, an antique elevator with city views. The Santa Justa lift is an unusual sight amidst Lisbon's Baixa district. It is a neo-Gothic elevator that stands out with its riveted wrought iron frame and battleship gray paint. It is a unique means of public transport in the city that was designed by Raoul Mesnier du Ponsard, an apprentice of Gustave Eiffel, and inaugurated in 1901. The elevator connects the Baixa with the Largo do Carmo in the Bairro Alto neighborhood, which is a popular area with expensive shops, Fado houses, and small restaurants. Today, the primary visitors to the top of the 32-meter-high tower are tourists who are curious to explore the wood-paneled cabins that still have the original polished brass instruments. The cabins make their way to a platform located just below the top terrace, making it easy for passengers to exit and walk across a bridge into Bairro Alto or climb the spiral staircase that leads to the upper terrace. The breathtaking views from the top offer a spectacular view of the urban landscape, including pedestrianized streets, picturesque squares, and the iconic castle and River Tagus. You can also get a stunning perspective of the nearby Igreja do Carmo. However, be prepared for long queues during the summer months. Lisbon offers yet another unique way to get around the city with the Elevador da Bica, this funicular railroad was built in 1892 by Raoul Mesnier de Ponsard and still operates today, taking passengers up to a stunning viewpoint on Rua da Bica de Duarte Bello. The funicular's lower station can be found behind a facade on Rua de Es Paulo, marked with the inscription Ascensor da Bica. While in the area, it's worth exploring the charming and peaceful Bica Quarter, which runs from Calcada do Combro Rua do Loreto down to the Tagus. Due to its hilly terrain, narrow streets, and tightly packed buildings, this area sees very few cars. Number 4. Padrao dos Descobrimentos A tribute to the age of discovery, the Bellum waterfront is dominated by the Monument to the Discoveries, a massive structure that leans over the River Tagus and resembles the prow of a caravel. This monument was purposely designed to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the death of Henry the Navigator and it does so by showcasing a frieze of statues featuring prominent personalities from the Golden Age of Discovery. The figures represented include Vasco da Gama, Fernão de Magalhaes, and Pedro Alves Cabral, with Henry himself standing at the forefront holding a caravel. After taking a moment to appreciate the statues, visitors can easily ascend to the top of the monument via elevator for a breathtaking bird's-eye view of the riverfront and surrounding area. Down below, there is an impressive compass embedded into the esplanade. This mosaic map showcases the locations and dates of new lands that have been discovered, making for a unique and memorable photo opportunity in Lisbon. Number 3. Day Trip to Sintra Sintra is a must-visit destination when you are in Lisbon. It's just a 40-minute train ride from the city center, and the trip is worth it. The town has a romantic ambiance with regal royal palaces, mysterious mansions, and a mighty Moorish castle dating back to the 8th century. The historic old town, Sintra Vila, is a delightful configuration of colorful and ornate townhouses, decorative cafes, and traditional restaurants. It was once the summer retreat for the kings and queens of Portugal, and is now a world heritage site. Sintra is truly a majestic destination that deserves a spot on your itinerary. The Sintra and Cascais small group day trip from Lisbon is an all-inclusive tour that takes you to the most popular attractions of Sintra and the former fishing village of Cascais. During the eight-hour small group tour, you will get a chance to explore the beautiful Sintra National Park, visit the magnificent Pena National Palace and Sintra National Palace, 
and experience a thrilling drive along the Atlantic coast. Number 2. Arco da Rua Augusta, a triumphal arch. The Praça do Comercio Square in Lisbon is an impressive sight, especially when viewed from the Arco da Rua Augusta. This landmark arch, located at the northern edge of the square near Rua Augusta, was designed by Portuguese architect Santos de Carvalho to commemorate the city's reconstruction after the 1755 earthquake. Inaugurated in 1873, the arch features a terrace with an allegorical statue of glory, as well as statues of national heroes like Vasco da Gama and Marque de Pombal. Recently, the public has been allowed to visit the top of the arch for a breathtaking view. Visitors are directed to an elevator that takes them to the top, followed by a steep spiral staircase that leads them to the terrace. From the terrace, one can enjoy the majestic view of the south, stretching over the square and the river. Turning towards the north, the stunning vista of Rua Augusta and the entire downtown district of Lisbon can be seen. Additionally, a mechanical clock made in 1941 strikes at hour and half-hour intervals. The clock's intricate mechanism, located inside the arch, can be admired along with an illustrated panel that outlines the arch's historic timeline. Number 1. Palacio dos Marqueses de Frontera the home of a 17th-century Portuguese aristocrat, located on the outskirts of the city in the northwestern region, lies a picturesque country manor house that serves as the family home of the Marque de Frontera. This house was originally built as a hunting lodge for João de Mascarenas, the first Marque de Frontera, in 1640. It underwent a few renovations in the following years and was transformed into a palace. Today, it is one of Lisbon's most stunning and tranquil private residences, Fortunately, a few of the rooms in this grand retreat are open to the public, along with the exquisitely landscaped grounds. A guided morning tour of the premises is an excellent opportunity to catch a glimpse of 17th century Portugal. The Museo Nacional do Azulejo is not the only place in the city to view 17th century azulejos. The palace is also a great spot to marvel at outstanding examples of tile work, particularly in the Sala das Batalhas, Battles Room. The room features wall panels that depict scenes from the War of Restoration, which was a long and brutal campaign to free Portugal from Spanish rule. The level of detail is impressive, providing a vivid portrayal of the battles that eventually led to the country's independence from its occupier. While the palace is not a museum, tours are available and offer informative and discreet access to additional areas such as the lounge, library, and dining room. These areas are adorned with unique Amsterdam tiles adding charm to the palace. Art historians may spot some notable pieces, including the Pellegrini portrait. The tour covers a visit to the formal gardens that are adorned with subtropical flora, providing a refreshing escape. The gardens also house the King's Gallery, a terrace showcasing decorative niches with busts of Portuguese kings. Adjacent to it is a large pond teeming with carp. Additionally, the chapel terrace is quite impressive, featuring 17th-century statues and azulejo panels that depict the Greek and Roman noble arts. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other recent videos from 10 Minutes Travel, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.